Hey guys, I'm back with another before you buy video. This time we have Reaper Ashra Redux. So the fourth legendary operator is back, but is it worth buying? Well, that even rhymes. Anyways, smash that like button because today you are going to see a lot of stuff that you haven't seen before. I'm even going to show you a cool trick that you can try in Battle Royale to look cool. First, I will tell you more about the origin of this character model because obviously it doesn't look like any other character in the game right now. According to the mecha designer of this model, they initially wanted to make it realistic as well as to give it a Japanimation touch, which in other words we call anime. In the character description it says new Reaper prototype Ashra named by head scientist Shoji Kawamori. But actually Shoji Kawamori is the artist who designed this model. Now I know when you see Reaper Ashra, the first thing that comes to your mind is that Ashra is so bulky so why would someone buy this? So to clear some of your doubts I decided to give it a hitbox test. So here we have Reaper Ashra and I have M4 Salamander which is also a reward in this lucky draw. So let's see the real hitbox of legendary Reaper Ashra. You can clearly see that those chicken wing things do not absorb any damage. So they are just there to look cool. Even those huge shoulders do not do any damage. So basically legendary Reaper Ashra has the hitbox of any other character skin. But that is not the problem. He looks big. Is it a problem? Well that depends on what mode you are playing. For an example I don't recommend using Reaper Ashra in a multiplayer match like search and destroy because you have only one life it is not wise to risk it just to show off. If the hitbox is the same, what is the problem? The problem is that you have high visibility, which means you are an easy target. It is like you telling your enemies, hey come on, kill me if you can. But it won't be a problem in Battle Royale. Actually Battle Royale is where Reaper Ashra really shines. So let's jump right into Battle Royale. What does Reaper Ashra has that any other character skin does not have? We have thrusters, so we can fly. No, we can't, I'm just kidding. But we can do something similar to flying, at least look like flying. Notice these thrusters lights up whenever you jump. So you gotta keep jumping to look cool. And most importantly, when you sprint, it lights up. If you just strafe, it doesn't. So make sure you always sprint. Now let me tell you a hidden feature that you can use to look cool. When you use a snowboard, you can either go with your lights on or off depending on your choice. So if you tap on the snowboard while sprinting, although you stay still on a snowboard, it always lights up. Or else you can just stay low and deploy your snowboard when you are not sprinting. That way, the lights never turn on, no matter how fast you go with your snowboard. I really don't think any of other legendary operator skins that we have come with these type of cool features. So this is in my opinion, the best legendary looking legendary operator. Let's also take a look at Reaper's special features. Here is the flight stance, unlike all the other characters who just walks, Reaper Ashra flies. It also comes with a unique AR kill watch that will show you real time number of kills you earn during a match, would be really useful if you are grinding camos, just saying. Then we have a skin for the VTOL score streak. When Reaper was originally released, VTOL was so overpowered and there was also the persistent perk. So back then, almost everyone used VTOL in domination and hardpoint matches. Not to mention this should be the largest legendary operator score streak skin ever. Reaper also has my favorite loot box in Call of Duty Mobile. It can be distinguished from other loot boxes very easily because of its color and those stripes makes it even look decent. I feel like we did not talk much about Reaper Ashra. So let's take a look at him at night mode just for fun. It's funny only one chicken win can be seen even at night. To pull Reaper Ashra in your first spin you have 0.08% chance. The second best item in this draw is the M4 LMG Salamander. Unlike Reaper you may have even used this gun although you don't own it because you can simply yoink it right? Where can I even yoink it capo? Nobody use M4 LMG these days? Well understandable. The Ashra draw is the first one and the only legendary operator lucky draw that has a legendary primary weapon instead of a secondary weapon. Although that is the case, this legendary M4 LMG has nothing less compared to any other legendary primary weapon that you unlock from lucky draws. So economically, it is a really wise decision to go for this draw where you get a primary legendary as well as a legendary operator. My favorite feature of this legendary LMG Salamander is the iron sight. When you ADS, quickly you hear some adjusting sound of AM. It is so good because I can't really recall any other legendary group doing this. However, this digital interface has nothing to do with your aim. This iron sight is the best iron sight they have ever made for the M4 LMG. It is pretty hard to use the default iron sight of the M4 LMG and true we have some skins with different iron sights but this one beats them all. Also the ammo box magazine is just in one sight. Just like the mythic Holger, the muscle flash and the barrel keeps rotating. Honestly, this is 
too good to be a secondary reward of a lucky draw. They could easily make a separate lucky draw with this M4 LMG. What do you guys think about that? Let me know what you think in the comment section. So let's see how the completionist camos look with this M4 LMG. Pretty much every camo looks good with it but my choice is as always the red sprite because even we have some red textures on the blueprint itself so they both match really well. To pull this legendary in your first spin there's 1.25% chance and I bet many of you guys who do 4-5 spins will surely get this one early if you have good luck. I bet you enjoyed the video so far so why not smash the like button right now if you haven't already. Let's move on to the other items in this draw and odds of getting them. The next item with the lowest odd is for the RUS 79U. It has a brand new geometry and it looks really nice. They have even designed a 4 grippy skin as well as a stocky skin but unfortunately it does not come with a different iron sight which is really disappointing because depending on how much work they put on designing this blueprint why not a different iron sight but I bet you will really enjoy this skin because of its design. There's a 4% odd of getting this in your first spin. With an odd of 4.67 we have a calling card in this lucky draw. The original draw also had a calling card that featured Ripashra but for this draw we have this one hit wonder calling card. Next up we have parachute with an odd of 5.5% this skin is really good especially if you are going to play with Reap Ashra. It is the first time we see this white Ashra skin and probably they made it to go along with Reap Ashra legendary skin. In the previous draw we had the wingsuit which matches with Reap Ashra and now we have parachute in the redux draw. We also have an epic katana in this draw with the same textures of the parachute. It is also made in a way that it matches with Reap Ashra but since Reap Ashra is futuristic if the katana comes with a different design that would be epic but then again that would be a lot of work for just one draw right so we get this one instead to pull this out in your first spin there's 6.5 percent chance we also have a cool emote but not with lot of action we get electrocuted and that's it you just don't move however one out of ten people will grab this in their first spin because it comes with an odd of ten percent the charm has an odd of eleven percent although most of the items in this draw are white in color this one is blue looks like a mistake but then again who knows it could be ribashra's main antagonist the final two items in this draw are the mod cycle and the trap master skin they have odds of 28% and 29% respectively these two skins also has the same textures of the parachute just they have rescaled it to a very lower value i mean they are not bad if you're going to play with ripasha you should go with these skins so is it worth buying this draw before we get into the final conclusion in the chinese version they have given us a chance to choose the redux or the original draw and i'm not sure whether this is going to happen in the global version too but there is chance this can happen based on the items that i have reviewed in the redux in my honest opinion the sole reasons to go for this draw are the legendary reaper ashra and the m4 lmg salamander skin for me i feel like buying two draws because the m4 lmg is a primary weapon most of the items in this draw are pretty basic especially with that white ashra skin but then again i like some of the skins in this draw like the rus the parachute and also the mod but that is just my idea what do you guys think about this draw and how many spins you're gonna try let me know in the comment section and that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and if you find this video helpful please leave a like make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon watch my other videos share this video with your friends and i will see you guys in the next one